Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates, you know, the timing is fluid. Uh, but keep in mind, this reading is not sign-specific, so it may or may not be for you. This is just something that is coming in, okay? So what do we have? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? got the king of pentacles we got the king of pentacles so interesting so this guy um he's a worker this guy is a worker he's a hard worker he's stable he's secure um he's holding on to his money he does hold on to his money he's a planner he's very responsible so we have a very responsible man here um he saves money okay he he does so he's a hard, hard worker. Look like he's very set. This guy looks like he's set. I mean, he's smiling. He's good. Um, he's he's stable, and he's been holding on to his stability for a while. So he he really doesn't have anything to worry about. This king, um, very strong. Grounded. has nothing to worry about so we have a king here that he's very he's very smart he's built up his security he has nothing to worry about so if you are this king congratulations you've done something right um, very very practical business oriented could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, uh, they're stable. Whatever they, whatever they're doing, they're, they're, they're stable in, in it. They're, they don't have anything to worry about. Because he's a planner. His plan, he's planned, okay? Because he planned so well, he doesn't have anything to worry about. Now, he's got something in his hands, and it's a golden opportunity, because that's the Ace of Pentacles in his hand. So he has an opportunity, has potential in his hands. Whatever he, ha whatever it is, it's very real. It could be even a gift. Somebody could be giving a gift or getting a gift. This guy is getting ready, ready to give something. Three of Wands reversed. Lack of foresight. You know, and it's funny because when I started this reading out, before I said draw or drew any cards, what I wanted to say was you never saw it coming. But I didn't. And so this could certainly, this is unpredictable. So something could happen that is unpredictable. You didn't see it coming. No vision not seeing the opportunities, there's been some sort of delay. But here comes the money, because that's money. So, you know, we know that there's some money coming from the government, and I, that I wasn't going down that line. But for some of you, it's it's coming. This guy's giving money away, so, you know, which is interesting. But he's holding on. That guy's holding on. He's got money. He's holding on to his money. Um, you didn't see it coming. There's been a delay. Now, this could also be a stable opportunity you didn't see coming. You may have thought it was never going to come, but it's coming. Okay, something is coming. Whatever it is, it's a real opportunity um, that could grow into something bigger. Put it that way. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Now... This is, I'm just looking at this card. I don't think I've ever seen the Six of Cups in this deck. Uh, this is about innocence. Something about innocence. Something about children. Remembering. Remembering. Somebody is remembering. Remembering something. Hmm. You know, this could be something for the children. Somebody could be giving a, 
money to the children, to their children, because it could be a father. Does it have to be? It doesn't have to be. This is this is Six of Cups. This is children. This is remembering, remembrance. This is also remembering what love is. This is some going back to your childhood, perhaps. Somebody from your childhood could be arriving. Somebody that you knew when you were a child. Doesn't have to be. Or somebody from your past. Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords reversed. So there's been definitely been a delay. There's been some sort of delay with the Three of Wands reversed as well. Now the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who refuses to see things from a new perspective. She's bitter and she's cold. She's lonely and she's hard to love. She is. She's very hard to deal with. She's hard to deal with because she's been hurt. So these came out together. So I'm feeling that this, like this Queen of Swords is, um, you know, stone cold. Stone cold. She's. We have Queen of Swords here who is stone cold. She's. She's been hurt. She'd rather be alone. Um, bitter. She is definitely bitter. Now this Four of Swords is... Uh, extremely exhausted, tired. But this is the death of a person or idea. The Four of Swords is. So something is, is, um, somebody may be feeling dead inside or this could be the end of something and it could cause somebody to be, get, you know, well, this is cold, turning cold. Somebody has turned cold. And they may have turned, and this could be even a wicked stepmother. A bitch. Okay, we have a bitch here. This is a bitch. The Queen of Swords in reverse is a bitch. So somebody we, we may have been dealing with a real bitch. A greedy bitch. Um, cold as ice. So we do have a woman here that is cold as ice. Interesting. All is not as it seems. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't matter. We have every, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody here. All is not as it seems. Be careful. When you get the moon card, be careful. Somebody is hiding something. It could be a stepmother. It could be an ex. Okay? The queen of swords can symbolize an ex or a stepmother or a wicked stepmother or somebody that is a bitch. We have a really nasty individual here who is hiding something. She may have some tricks up her sleeve. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Now this is... A message is coming. A message is coming that you may not... That may bring conflict. It may not be... Somebody is receiving a message that they don't want to hear. They're receiving a message. It's not what they want to hear. It's not what they want. It's not. It's not a. It's not a good message. Okay. It's not a good message. It's a. It's. It's a fact. Whatever this message is, it's a fact. It may have to do with. It. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it could have to do with a death. Okay. You notice. What's this? A raven. Or a crow. And then we have the four of swords, which, which is the death of a person or an idea. So there could be news, because this is news, that you didn't see coming. And I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it is. If it doesn't have to be a death, but it's something. Something. This is a death of an idea or person. Okay. And it may, it may be a surprise. It may be a surprise, but this person... Um, 
something about money, something about their money, uh, has worked hard, has worked hard, maybe to provide for their children or to provide for their family or to provide or something like that, because this is a provider. Something about children here. Hmm. There is a message. There's a message that is coming. You have it's, it's unpredictable. It's to, this is totally unpredictable. It is. It's like you never ever ever thought this was going to happen. There's a message that is coming from somebody that has uh, something for you. It has they have something. This is an opportunity. Okay. Maybe they have uh, let the bitch go. Okay, there's a Queen of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who is very nasty. You can't. You, this is this is somebody who is vicious, very manipulative, selfish, secretive. There's been some secrets here. With the, all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. It really isn't. There's some deception here. Maybe this bitch has been deceiving and this guy knows that he's very smart, okay? He's practical, okay? He's no dummy. Hmm. Oh, there's going to be a separation. Two of Cups reversed. There is going to be a separation. A split. There's disharmony. There's a disconnection. Uh, we have an unhappy couple here. And when I say couple, a partnership, it, it, it could be between friends, okay? This could be a friendship that is splitting up. There is a breakup here. There's two people that are separating. There is. Somebody has been lying. Somebody has been deceiving. Somebody doesn't tell the truth with the Queen of Swords and the Moon right there. We have one individual. It looks like it's a female to me. It does. The Moon is a very feminine energy. So isn't the Queen of Swords right there. So I feel like... Um, well, it could be a masculine, but I feel like it's a feminine. I feel like it's a feminine. My intuition says it's a feminine. So I feel like it is a feminine that is lying. She's been deceiving. She's been hiding something. She has been hiding something. This guy sees it. The masculine sees it. He's not stupid. He's very practical. He's worked hard. He's got experience behind his back. He knows that she's hiding something. He knows. He knows it. He does. He knows that's why she's cold. He knows that's why she's acting the way that she is because she's hiding something. She's she's very selfish. Um, I think that she is going to be quite surprised when she finds out that um, there's something more important to him than her. That's what I feel like it is. I was definitely going to, and this could be two friends. It doesn't have to be a him and a her. It could be two hers. It could be two hims. Okay, there is a separation here with the two of cups in reversed. There is some sort of separation or a fight, divorce. A partnership is ending. Okay, a partnership is ending. I don't think it's ending on a good note. Oh, the star reverse. Now there's lo there's there's lack of hope. There's lack of renewal. There's no renewal. There's no hope. There's no hope that things are going to change. There's no hope for this partnership. There's like a it's like there's a there's a, a loss of of will to even try. It's like I'm giving up. I'm giving up. This Whoever this person is dealing with, this person is very arrogant. We have one individual here that is very, very arrogant. They're not very spiritual. Doesn't believe, doesn't believe in a higher power. Lacks faith, lacks faith in humanity. disrespects humanity very greedy very selfish anyhow there is a message that is coming that you did not expect you never saw it coming i think we have this individual that is has made a decision to hold on to their assets or hold on to their money or hold on to what they have and not give it to this bitch 
this bitch that doesn't care who she hurts. This bitch is sneaky. Very sneaky. Hides things. You must look deeper. And I think that's what this man has done. Or this person, the King of Pentacles, has looked deeper. May have even hired somebody to look deeper. And I feel like something has come up about whoever he or she was dealing with. Page of Pentacles. We have a new opportunity opening up. I know that we do. There's a new doorway, a new path, a new horizon. It's taking, taking a new uh, journey, okay? A new enterprise, laying a new foundation, using common sense. Starting over. Somebody may even be apologizing. They may be uh, deciding to give what they have to somebody else, knowing that it's not going to be easy, knowing that they need to speak the truth, knowing that, you know, starting over isn't going to be easy. Okay, to, to let something end that is stone cold. Okay, there's something here that is stone cold. And when it's when you get to that point where you've hit rock bottom, okay, because this is rock bottom, the only thing you can do is start over. So I think that there is definitely starting over here, starting over down a new path. Somebody was, somebody is going to be given an opportunity. I'm telling you what, I think it's from a man. I think it is from a man. They're going to be given an opportunity to start fresh, to start over, to, um, maybe it's reconcile because six of cups can be reconciliation. This could be between family members. This could be between lovers. This could be between friends. Somebody's going to be given a chance to um, go down and start over. It's like, but you have to follow through. And, and whoever this person is, they're going to have to speak up. They're going to have to speak the truth. Somebody is going to be receiving a message from a very smart person individual who's been planning it he's been planning he's been planning his next moves he's ready he's ready to get real and i think that he is going to send a message or communicate something that is hard it's hard for him to communicate um he may be apologizing or he may be just extend be extending a hand you know giving somebody a hand or giving them the money to start a new enterprise or something like that somebody's going to be given a hand or they're going to be given uh, an opportunity to reconnect, okay? Because Six of Cups is a reconnection. It could be rekindling. And you never saw it coming. Um, but it is definitely about starting over with the Page of Pentacles, starting down that new path. You get the opportunity. It's given to you. The opportunity is given to you to what you do with it is up to you. You can choose to not follow through or not take those steps, but this could grow into something big. It could grow into something permanent. You could get a, this is like an opportunity for um, something long term here if you follow through with it, if you don't give up. But somebody has given up. Maybe they've given up on a partnership in the past. This has given up on a union partnership in the past. Somebody had given up. So there could be somebody from the past. Maybe you knew this person when you were a child that is apologizing or they're, they're wanting to start over or something like that. Now, this could be a family member. It could be a father. It could be whoever. I don't know. could be an old boss. Whoever this person is that is giving the opportunity is stable. They are hard work. It may be a business owner. This person is business oriented and they got money and they have their shit together. And I feel like they have been investigating some bitch. And this bitch um, is bitter and cold. And she's bitter and cold. She's bitter and cold because she's been lied to. She's been hurt, okay? The queen, the queen, you don't just become a bitch. 
doesn't happen overnight. There's always a reason for it. So I think we do have this Queen of Swords in reverse as a woman that is hard to love. She's hard to love because she has been broken. So perhaps this bitch is going to receive a message from somebody that um, wants to uh, change her perspective. Oh, I just looked on the bottom. Could be a King of Cups. Could be a King of Cups. So the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. King of Cups is a very feeling king. He has a big heart. He's very romantic. And he's looking for love. And he can feel. He's very intuitive. Looks like he's going to be expressing himself. And he's going to be offering something real. And he's looking for love. This is probably somebody that you are very familiar with or you have known before. Because of that Six of Cups. I feel like these two people have not been communicating but I think, and I think there's been a separation, but there's an opportunity to start fresh. And so I think a message is coming that it's a hard message. It's a difficult message, but this person is going to find their willpower to uh, follow their heart and hope for the best. Let's get one of these angel romance cards. Want to try it? Let's get one of these. We definitely have uh, somebody, a, a masculine. I believe it's a masculine that's looking for love. And I think that he is going to send a message. Uh, maybe to somebody that he hurt. Because the Queen of Swords in reverse is a, is a hurt individual. And that's why she is bitter and cold. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And somebody has lost all hope. They've given up. Okay? I feel like that now that they've, they've given up, here comes a solid, stable offer from somebody that is real and is looking for love. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, there is an offer coming through. There is from somebody that uh, you have been with or you have connected to in the past. And I don't want anybody to get their, you know, panties in a bunch because, oh, I don't want to be in the past. How many people do you know in your past? More than one. Good luck.